you've been saying that I am the Gordon Ramsay of watches. Now it's time to react to Gordon Ramsay's watch collection. Fuck! Where's the lamb sauce? Come on, man. I just need a... This the lamb Where's the lamb That's sauce? This crispy chicken salad for me is the get out of jail card, especially when you've got a big dinner party, because that is good enough for four or five of you. Grab a leaf, lift it up. Mm. That's a very, very nice watch. That's a Rolex. Fuck me. That is a Rolex of Mariner. I thought Gordon was only wearing Bretlings, like these big fucking ugly yokes. That's a Rolex of Mariner 1680. That's a cracker. These fucking sleeves do my head in. You know who you look like right now? Who? Joe McLovin. Who's McLovin? Hello. It's the caller. <laughs> I'm not McLovin. Fucking hell, and I love that dial. You see the brown on the dial? The plots are not white. To show the time in the dark, this watch had radioactive material on the dial. The brown plots indicate that the radioactive material that normally looms up the dial is completely gone. It's burned out, it's brown, it's gone. A watch that's properly been used. So there's no loom or light on that dial anymore. You only get that over time. It's cool to see that he still has that dial and not replaced with anything else. I really, really love this watch and I think it's so cool to see that on Gordon Ramsay. I would value this 1680 between 12 and 14 thousand dollars that's a really fucking good start and me thinking i would only see like these horrible fucking huge ass motherfucking ufo brightlings holy mother of fucking god that is, that is fucking insane what the fuck gordon this is actually a, a, the same reference number only dash eight so it's a 1680 dash eight you know that this is the first ever gold submariner and that dial that's what we call the nipple dial the titties dial you know why we call it titties dial because the plots look like nipples. And the plots are attached to the dial. And my nipples are attached to my titties. And that's why I call it titties dial. It's Rolex being dirty. Rolex like... From now on, everyone in the Rolex community should call this the titty dial. That is absolutely fucking class. That is actually really fucking rare. I'm actually ashamed of myself. Because I genuinely thought that Gordon Ramsay was only wearing fucking Bratlings. These fucking sleeves. I'm dumb with these sleeves. All these fucking videos. What's wrong with his sleeves? What's wrong with his sleeves? Fuck you. I'm annoyed. My sleeves are shit. I need to fucking find scissors. <laughs> fuck me. Fucking shite. Where the fuck are scissors in this place? No fucking scissors, mate. These fucking sleeves. Fuck! <laughs> fucking people always in my fucking sleeves. Fuckers. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> That's my whole shirt. Fuck off. <laughs> the value of this Rolex of Manor, reference number 1680-8, is between fifty and sixty thousand dollars. Gordon Ramsay, I am fucking impressed with your watches so far. I am blown away. I mean, is this a fucking Rolex show? This is a 16570 with a really creamish discolored dial. The sunlight and the radioactive material really gave this dial a creamy color. The plots were loaded with radioactive material, tritium in this case, and together with light and the imperfections of Rolex's paint, making this dial a very creamyish color. I fucking love it. It adds value to the watch. This is the older generation of the Rolex Explorer 2, 44 millimeter. The new generation of the Explorer 2 is 42 millimeter. The price doesn't make this watch really impressive. It is the color of this dial. You only get this color over time. I would value this watch between nine and $11,000. Fuck me. Holy mother of fucking God. Street pizza Gordon Ramsay wearing one of the earliest Rolex Submariners on the planet. Reference number 6538 or 5508. I can't really see it, but that is special. What I would do to fucking see that watch, you have no idea. What I would do for that to see that watch, mate, you have no idea. I would do everything. Gordon, Gordon, Gordon. I want to see that watch up close. Gordon, can you send me a photo of that watch? Because that is the dog's bollocks. I don't have much passion here anymore. I'm hoping that, that, that Gordon being here will nurse it back. And um, right, first was the uh, roasted beet and burrata salad. They've just been seasoned with a little touch of salt, pepper, and then finished in a little hazelnut vinaigrette. I love it when you get excited like that. It's the energy coming back. I absolutely love it. 
Are you okay, Brian? This is the Gordon Ramsay I know. That's actually a very old Bretling. He loves his old fucking watches, like. The watch you see here is a very early Bretling cockpit. A cockpit chronograph. I think it's fucking class. It's actually quite rare with the yellow dial. I don't think you can find one of those at the moment. A lot of people confuse this watch with an Avenger or with a Chronomat, but it's actually a cockpit chrono. That product line is not in production anymore. It's actually quite rare. You don't see these anymore, and you definitely don't see them in steel. You usually find them in gold and steel, but never really with the yellow dial. Really, really cool. I would value that watch between two and three thousand dollars. He's actually wearing my least favorite Omega Seamaster produced. That bracelet is one of the ugliest bracelets I have ever seen in my life. This is horrible. This watch came in two movements, the automatic movement and the quartz movement, both on the most horrible bracelet I've ever seen in my life. That is a piece of shit. Gordon, what the fuck? He has the most insane fucking Rolexes. Really, really specific and important watches. And now all of a sudden he has this piece of shit. You know Gordon has a TikTok? He has TikTok. Was on my show, so don't get geeked up, bitch, Lisa. He reacts to people's cooking skills. The same as I react to watches. You want to treat yourself? Rib cap. Rib cap. Steak. Come on, big boy, that's my favorite cut. You're going to salt it? Salt it? Jesus Christ. It looks like an episode of Narcos. How many followers does he have more followers than me? Yep. I have 600,000 followers on TikTok, mate. Gordon has 22.2 .2 million followers. I thought I was like, the bollocks like. Get the fuck, let's cook something. Joshua recently taught me how to make an egg, so I can fuck it. Let's do it. This shirt is hanging in pieces, mate. At least I have no problems with my uh, sleeves anymore. Always say hi to Gilbert, very important. This Gilbert. I have no idea how this works, but there's a thing on. It's a do not place items on top of the cooker ring. This one is it working or? It's two things and there's, you would think that would be logic, wouldn't it? The light is not on like. Well, Gordon, as you can see, I wanted to show you and teach you how to make an egg because I learned from the best, in this case, Joshua Wiseman. And uh, I can't because the cooker in the office doesn't work. But uh, at least follow me on TikTok, will you? Fuck, I actually forgot something. <laughs> I'm actually supposed to deliver a watch. Fuck me. Mate, I'm late. I'm late. And you're always late. You're always late, man. Like, I'm delivering a 20 grand watch to him, like. And I'm fucking late. Look at my shirt. You're looking Julius Caesar. <laughs> the fucking bass is fucking raw. What the fuck is going on?